I don't really expect a lot of kids to be watching this video, you never know. But just in case, family be warned, uh, there's a lot of inappropriate names on this list, so you might want to watch one of my other videos instead. Otherwise... Get ready for the ride! Because like I said, there's some rude, crude, and horribly named plants on this list. You naughty, cheeky herbalists. Who knew they were so saucy? I've left a few names off this list because really they're rather spot on. Like the sausage tree. I mean, they actually do look like sausages hanging off a tree. You could say they look like something else, but, you know, it's called the sausage tree, so I'm going with it. Given some of the bad names that are on this list, it could have been a lot worse. And I'm focusing on the worst common herb names, not the biological names. But here's a list of some of the worst scientific herb names, just in case you're interested. While these poorly named herbs aren't in any particular order, I have one that I'm sticking at the end of this list because I really, 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 really don't like it. And I mean, really. Can you tell that I really don't like it? But before we get to that, let's talk about a nice stiff cock. I warned you, didn't I? This plant got its name because it makes a tea that, for some, works like Viagra. Though for me, really, it just confirms that men don't have any imagination sometimes when it comes to naming things. Oh man, I don't know if I can handle this list if this is where we're starting out. Next up is the Stinking Hellebore. And if Stinking Hellebore isn't bad enough, it's also known as Dungwort, Oxheel, and Stinkwort. The hellish part is thanks to its genus name, Helleborus. The stinking part doesn't show up until you crush the leaves, which releases a pungent smell. Though some people might say it has an air of beefiness and strength. I'll leave it up to you if you want to smell it, but just smell it. Don't eat it because it's actually poisonous. Don't drink the water. <laughs> Let's move on to the next smelly plant, Stinking Willy. This one deserves the stinky name because it produces a properly putrid smell to attract pollinators. The willy part is because of its biological name, Trillium erectum. But erectum actually has nothing to do with sex this time. It has to do with how the stem stays particularly firm, straight, erect. Yeah, people are going to believe that has nothing to do with sex. Traditionally, it's actually been used for various women's issues, like menstrual disorders and childbirth. Okay, so maybe loosely to do with sex, but more reproduction. Again, you gotta be really careful with this plant because the leaves can be poisonous. The root is actually the main place you use it medicinally. 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 I need a little medicinal action right now, because I'm not saying things correctly. Ah, Morty! Next on the docket is Peter Pepper, aka the penis plant. I can't. I just can't. It definitely earns its name. I mean, look at that thing. It definitely looks like a... There are probably ruder and far worse names associated with this plant, but I just didn't want to go down that rabbit hole and look them up, so I was just... I'll stop here with these ones. And that's good enough. Thank you. There you go. No surprise, it was given the honor of most pornographic pepper by Organic Gardening Magazine. Am I gonna get demonetized or blocked because of this worst herb name list? I feel like I am right now, you know? It feels like it's heading down that path. Screw it, let's press on and talk about beard tongue. Why would anyone call a plant this? This actually refers to the whole genus of plants known as the pestemon. Or if you want to be fancy, call them penstemon. Specific species include the unfortunate named sour grapes and Connie's pink beard tongue. Obviously, the name comes from how the flower looks like an open mouth with a hairy stamen at the center. But man, someone sure wasn't thinking when they said, yeah, this should be the moniker of this whole genus. That sounds good to me, beard tongue. Hey look, it's a black-eyed Susan! All right, who did it? I'm gonna bring him up on charges. Well, black-eyed probably has to do with the fact that it looks like it has eyes that are black. But still, who gave it this weird name? Well, the man you need to blame is English poet John Gay, whose famous poem talks about black-eyed Susan and how she's super sad because her man William is sailing off to sea. Aw, sad John. And lame. Well, I guess you say it's not that bad because some of its other names are even worse. And this poor flower is getting a bad rap no matter where it goes. I mean, who wants to be known as Poor Land Daisy? It doesn't even roll off the tongue well. Time to get a little dirty again with knobweed. Do I look fat from this angle? This powerful antiseptic shrub is actually very good for you. But with a name like knobweed and many of these, you might not want to try it. Probably the best name is what it's commonly known over in the UK as, which is cleavers. Yeah, much less risque and troublesome. Personally, I'd love it if everybody called it by one of its lesser known names, Whippy Sticks. This makes me smile every time I say it. <laughs> the same can't be said for nipple wart, which yes, is often used for nursing mothers, ulcerated breasts and cracked nipples. So the name's really on point, but come on, nipple wart? 
It's a little too on the nose. I think we can do better. The odd thing is that unlike many other herbs, pretty much everyone calls it nipple wart. Apparently there's a conspiracy to dub this plant by this unflattering name when there's so many other funky cool names out there it could be known by. List. Yeah, all these herbs deserve better names. Like yarrow. Wait, yarrow? How did this harmless herb get on this list? Well, that's because while it's avoided the fate of being known by its worst herb name, it does have a bunch of other nasty wasty nicknames. I just made that up, nasty wasty, you like it? And as it's been used throughout history and witchcraft, it's acquired the names Devil's Nettle, Devil's Plaything, and Bad Man's Plaything. Let's hop back on the raunchy body bus with this plant that's more commonly known as the balloon plant or swan plant. But it's often called this list of derogatory names like Harry... <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it. I guess I just gotta move on to barren wart. This is another whole genus of plants that has some really bad PR names. I mean, who really wants to try something called barren wart? Scoop parsley and basil, I want some barren wart. First hearing it, I wouldn't go there. Probably better than some of its other nicknames, but horny goatweed at least has a little bit of pluck to it. Yet this is better still than the daylilies of the Hemorrhacalus genus. Better and worse, actually. This group of flowers has some cultivars with some absolutely fantastic names. Wild Wookie, Woo -hoo, love it. Jumping at the woodside, yeah, let's swing, baby. Longelson Liberty Bell, bit of a mouthful, but still acceptable. And then there's a list of some truly pitiful names like Droopy Drawers Lily. Look at this thing, it should be called something spectacular like Lava Flow or Fire Beast. But Droopy Drawers, man, that's just a meaning. As for the rest of these names, and yes, these are actual registered names of different cultivars of day lilies. There's even more than this. This is just a small portion of them. Well, you know, I gotta say, naked woman frying bacon gets some points for inventiveness. Sounds to me like we're entering the crude zone again. I guess it's time to talk about the cuckold herb. You may know this one by one of its many other bad names, which originate thanks to its none too friendly appearance or from the fact that it's commonly found growing around swamps. It's not spelled with a W. But tell me what you think of when you hear the name whorehound. There's actually two completely different herbs that get the joy of being called whorehound. There's white whorehound and black whorehound. Well, it's believed these herbs got their name thanks to the Egyptian god Horus. Saying the word whore now doesn't exactly evoke images of Egyptian gods, does it? Honorable mentions. Can I have a side of oats, grandma? That's all I really think of when I hear this name. Virgin thistle. Enough said. Joe Pieweed is actually named for a really cool indigenous American herbalist, but giving it this name doesn't really do it any favors. Oh look, it's that bloody crane's bill again. Milkweed. Apparently some people this is weird, but I don't really see it. Let me know in the comments if you think it's weird. The Pinky Winky or PG Hydrangea, which really just evokes images of the Bee Gees. Lungwort, which is a whole genus of plants that's supposed to help the respiratory system, but when you put the words lung and wart together, doesn't exactly sound terribly good to me. Shagbark. Yeah, baby. <laughs> tick seed. And no, it doesn't actually attract ticks. And that brings me to the by far worst herb name there is, rape seed. Yeah, rape seed. I don't see how you can get much worse than that and still be legal. You can argue with me on this all you want. Yes, there are some racist herb names out there that are really bad, but I'm talking about those on another list. So this one's number one. Bar none. The name actually comes from the Latin for turnip, but what does this plant have to do with turnips? And everyone knows what the word rape means now. And it's meant this for a while. This herb has been primarily used as an oil. In the United States, it's called canola oil. So why can't we just call it that? I'm tired of cringing every time I have to say the name rape seed. Oh, it's horrid. It's, it's absolutely horrid. And it's a textbook case of why this herb and all the other herbs and spices on this list and Plants out there in the world need to get a revamp on their names to give them a resemblance of dignity. For Christ's sakes, be good to these herbs. I mean, even if they do look like something rude. Fine, call it that penis thing. Am I exploding yet? I feel like I'm exploding. Love yourself some good controversy? Then it's time to watch this video next. Please be kind. Take care of each other. And if you're going to name a daylily or some other varietal out there, please... Don't name it after genitals or other nefarious names. Just don't. Please.